So this is the trident sacroiliac joint uh, fusion screw. And the idea is to get this construct inside of the sacroiliac joint with the main screw and side screw with windows self turning self tapping as well as the side screw has a groove that makes the bone grow. They pack the bone inside and uh, they literally they help with the fusion as well as the trident. Um, only the first screw, the main screw, need a guide wire and the side screws are put through the handle of the main screw that the minimized amount of the time we need to go from the lateral to inlet and outlet views. Um, it start as previous uh, uh, video show with the shadow of the sacrum marked on the skin and the top part of the sacrum connected to the middle of the um, uh, greater trochanteric notch and then we in that position we uh, start uh, inserting a guide wire that this is the lateral view and the uh, greater trochanteric notches are aligned on both sides as well as the alas are aligned on both sides. Packing in this position in the lateral view, we insert a guide wire, a sharp guide wire, and rest it on the um, iliac crest, x-ray. The best position is just a, a little anterior to the shadow of the sacrum x-ray. And uh, in that position, we just make sure that we save the position x-ray. Now we are already ready to go after, and this process get that uh, one inch incision or less than one inch incision, and just entering the guide bar, resting it on the sacrum. That takes less than a minute actually to do. Let's go to the inlet view. So practically, uh, we're starting the procedure now because we just made the incision, we put the guide wire, now we are going to the lateral, uh, to inlet view. Now open the, open the slide and go to no, significant More, more. Okay, okay, that's it. Now open up the, the, the rapid move. Uh, Drop the middle one, the ye yes, good, x-ray. Now lock that, and we go two inch north. Stop right there. Now please turn it 90 degree, we want to have the anatomy aligned with the x-ray. Have a cursor. Okay, now here we have the trajectory and we want to be ending up in the middle of the sacrum x-ray. And that is the acceptable trajectory. Where, uh, open the slide a little bit. Stop x-ray. And um, here we see that, open the uh, uh, yellow again, x-ray. Here we see that, uh, lucky, and move it an inch north. Here we see that, uh, border of the sacrum or a line. And that is the picture we want to have. Now at this point I'm securing it a little more and then let's go again to, to let's go to outlet view. Inlet view is the axial view of the sacrum. Outlet view is a true AP view of the sacrum where we see the foramen x-ray. And then here we want to adjust it so we get a direct view toward the S1 foramen and even better if possible, a little below it, x-ray. So that is the uh, acceptable kind of trajectory there, x-ray. And you just need to pass the sacroiliac joint about a centimeter and a half to two centimeters and x-ray. So at this point, let's get another inlet view, make sure that we are still within the confine of the sacrum. X-ray. That is a very good position. Now, let's go back to inlet view. 
Then we extend the guideline. And then we, the red screw is the main screw inserted, then the sleeves are, uh, insert, uh, they are uh, already assembled. And what we do now, we go inside. And all we do, we try to turn it. Usually, I would be on this side. I'm using my right hand to do that, but because of the camera, I'm going to use my left hand. But all we do now is just turning the screw. The screw is self-tapping, self-drilling, and uh, obviously it uh, uses the trajectory of the guide wire. And as well, it cuts and impacts the piece of bone inside of the screw. And you have done those studies that they show um, that inside is pretty much well packed with the bone of the, uh, bone of the patient. Now get the x-ray. So we see where the trajectory, where it's going. We are about a centimeter away from the sacroiliac joint, x-ray. We don't have to do that, but, but for demonstration, I like to go to the uh, inlet view. We get one picture. X-ray. So here you see, now I'm going to just to go forward, x-ray. The final positioning should be done in the outlet view. So let's go back to outlet view. And once it is in, it sort of finds its way. It's very easy actually to just to just keep turning it. All the function of a whole set is integrated in the screw itself. And here you see that we are I'm feeling the sacroiliac joint. It's begin becoming a little harder now, X-ray and then it becomes easier again after I pass it x-ray. This T-handle really helps to perform the function x-ray. If you, if you have one wants to do that, you can at this point go like 35 degree open the arc sleeve to what we call iliac crest view so that inside you see when you are getting ready x-ray. So, come forward, good x-ray. So here you see the so-called iliac crest view. You see the iliac crest and you see that you are about a centimeter or a little centimeter and a half away from the um, iliac crest. But as well here, because we have opened it up, you see, you see that as well, that that is actually the case. So we're going to just finish it, x-ray. So you see we are getting closer to the iliac crest, x-ray. Now let's go back to the regular um, outlet view. And slide back, x-ray. So we are sitting on the iliac crest now. And I'm happy with the, my inlet and outlet view. Now here comes the actual uh, process. The guide wire goes out, so we can look at the windows of the screw. Now get the one X-ray now. I'm okay with the trajectory, I'm okay with the positioning and all of that. And uh, once it starts feeling harder, I'm going to keep the last quarter of a turn. And let's go to the inlet view one more time. Now here comes the magic of this procedure. Like right there. Okay. So I'm able to, first of all, I turn until the windows of the screw in the x-ray, in the, let's do two more things. Open up the slide first, x-ray. Concentrating on the screw itself, x-ray. Now on x-ray and make sure that I'm through it along the axis of the sacrum x-ray. Lock it right there. Now move it just a touch more. Good, x-ray. Okay, so I go until this, the windows of this screw are 
superimpose x-ray again and now I go until uh, they are anti-parallel meaning they are x-ray 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 right about there they are barely touching each other x-ray at this point the inserter comes out then we start using the assembled side screw we go first the cranial part we go along this here's the skin we go along the skin we find its own place the trajectory is actually fixed I start with the just pushing it in this way and I mean as you see it's, it's the fixed trajectory and the head of the side screw gets fixed and locked into the main screw x-ray now we can go back to the object view once this position is fixed, and because some of the screw is in, this position won't change anymore. And X-ray. And here we see where it's going. X-ray. And the rest of it is just turning a screw in, that's all. X-ray. Again. Again. Now, I'm through the, the, the sacroiliac joint and it's become, going to become harder. Once it becomes hard, I use the teeth. First, it becomes hard, it has an oval shape, it becomes hard and it becomes easy again. Then I'm done. Here, I'm already, I'm, I'm good. It's, it's solid. Now to remove that, we first pull it back. Sometimes you may need a coker or something else to move it back. And maybe a hammer. Then we just turn it counterclockwise and it disconnects. It cannot get lost because they have a, because of their safety mechanism. And then we do repeat the same process with the caudal screw that goes underneath, get into the fixed angle, and just get screwed in x ray again, again. Becomes, it becomes harder, we can use the T part of the handle, x-ray. This handle is one of my favorite devices. You can use it for in so many different configurations that makes it really easy to optimize your force, x-ray. And as well, you feel it when you go through the layer, x-ray. X-ray, and I feel again it's getting harder, and locked. Same process, pull it out, turn it back, remove it. Now, we, what we use now is to turn this counterclockwise, and then remove it, and the rest is all inside, it stays in. So from the start, from the time we, uh, it's still recording, right? From the time we put the guide wire to right now, how many minutes has it been? 14.30. 14.30 with all the explanation. In a regular case, this should be truly doable, a 15 minute procedure, because we don't have to go again to the site and get another picture and come back. And all the function of the set is integrated in the screw itself. Now, 
we have a nice view of the screen there. And continue the final uh, inlet view, please. So obviously in this case, we could have used a longer screw, but uh, I think that's sort of uh, just a matter of you know identifying what size screws we want to have. And that's a perfect position for that screw. So that's done, thank you.